Okay, uh, today we're going to learn how to take the keyboard apart. So first of all, you have to remove the cover of the accordion. You have a screw, the bottom of screw on top, or a nut, whatever. So here it goes. This is an electric accordion. You might have some wire to disconnect. So this is the cover, comes out. And this is the battery for the uh, electrical. We'll take this apart, that apart. And right now we have the cover off. Okay, so now we have to remove the registers because once we remove the register, then the keyboard is free to be taken out. So you, some of the register, you might have a screw on the bottom here and uh, a screw on top or maybe in the middle, you love to see the type of accordions and how it's built. So here is the uh, register now. The registers, they're connected with the arm. You got four arms here, one, two, three, four. So these are the register that are connected to the accordion. Now, you have to remove whether it's um, a screw, whatever, what are you? You have to remove these arms one by one. Uh, okay. One, two. Three, four. And then, okay, now we have to take off the arms one by one, as you could see here. This is the first one, the second one, the third, and the fourth. Okay, once you remove the uh, register from the accordion, the next step is to, to take the uh, keys apart. Now, on the bottom of the accordion, you have a little, like, little casing. Some of them, they have screws, some of them, they have nails. So you remove this. And as you can see, we have two rods going through the accordion. One of them is for the black keys, and one of them is for the white keys. This is the rod that holds the keyboard in place. So now, we must remove all the keys. So we're going to start with the white key. Okay, and we're just gonna pull a little and the first key should come out, as you could see. Okay, so this is number one. And you place it on a board like this. Then you start with second road, a road, a road that goes into the accordion. Now this is for the black key because my next key, as you could see here, is gonna be the black one, okay? So I'm gonna pull a little and this should come out. Okay, and there you go. And you place this right next to the white key. So you have everything in order. So when we finish, you'll be able to put back one by one. So next, there is a pattern. As you can see, you gotta follow your notes. My next one is my white note here. So it's my first one here. That's gonna come off. So you're gonna pull the rod. Okay, and it comes off. My next one here, it's going to be the black note, so you're going to pull on the second rod, and this will come out. My next one is going to be the white one again. You pull it out, and so on and so forth. Make sure that you put one against the other, one after the other, rather. So, we're almost finished. So here are the last two. That's the black and the white. And okay. And as you could see here, the keys, they have number. So the last one here is number one for the white key. And then comes number one again for the black key. And so on and so forth. The next key is going to be number two. And the next key, black key, is going to be number two also. And you follow until the end. Now I'm going to show you how to change the padding once you have taken the keyboard apart. Okay, so this is uh, how it's done. You take a sharp knife, try to remove the padding from the uh, the valve itself. 
Some of the valves are made out of wood. Some of the valves are made out of uh, maybe aluminum. So try to take some of the powder comes out easy. Some of them you will have to work on it. This is the way to do it. You cut it off, and then you'll have to sand this down to the wood. So you gotta get a some paper, a rough some paper. And you scrape it until it comes off completely. Okay, just a minute. Just a minute. Okay, I'm gonna apply the glue. Mm -hmm. There we go. So you spread the glue, not too much across the um, the valve, wooden valve. Then I already have a valve which they fit. They have to be the same size, the valves. Otherwise, the, the keyboard won't fit properly. So once you have this done, you just glue the new valve. Okay, and you press it down. And you let it dry for maybe uh, 15, 20 minutes before you start before you once you did them all then you could start doing replacing back the uh, keyboard so <clears throat> before you replace back the keyboard these are the rods you must clean them you take a sandpaper and <clears throat> you clean them you go sandpaper right down so by cleaning this it helps to the keys work better because sometimes there might be a little rusty somewhere. So once they're clean, nice and clean, you can put it back. You're gonna have to put the keys back. So <clears throat> once you do the valve, here there's a spring. You have to bend this one spring down, place it on the board here, on the keys, on the platform of the keys, and place the keyboard down this way and bring it down and then okay so there you go so this is done my next key is going to be a black key the same thing you have a spring here bring it back pull this down and try to place the key second key here and then you put the second rod for the black key here right here and this this is it and so on and so on then so we have replaced all the uh, valves. Now we're going to have to replace the keyboard back to its position.